buddy. How was your morning nap? He's good. Okay, so you may notice that we transitioned him into a sleep sack. From the last time I filmed anything that had to do with Nash, sleeping, naps, anything, um, sleeping at night, he's now fully in a sleep sack. Um, we switched over from a suit, a full body suit. So I wanted to update you with like kind of how our day looks with that now. So this is a Kite Baby sleep sack. So thank you so much Kite Baby for sponsoring this YouTube video. And I just want to show you like what naps look like with it. I'm going to take you all throughout our day and into like our evening routine and our nighttime routine with a big boy in a sleep sack. Yeah. The Kite Baby sleep sack is the biggest change for us, but also we spread out passies in his crib now because now that he can move, he can kind of grab a passy and soothe himself if he wakes up. Okay, so now we're gonna get him dressed for the day. Speaking of Kite Baby, these are the softest onesies ever. They are our favorite onesies, our favorite PJs. You'll probably see him in his Kite Baby PJs before bed tonight. Um, I love them because they're the bamboo fabric that's super soft. They're actually like eczema friendly. Their fabric is top notch. They're also like super stretchy. So he will be wearing these for a long time. Look at these diapers adorable love them they're like tropical for summer oh my goodness are we so happy to be awake huh oh yeah mama sweet boy I love you I love you Big boy, that's a big boy. Yeah. <laughs> this is Teddy. Are you ready to go bye bye running errands? Yeah. We're back home. So what y'all saw is I'm having a little birthday ride at my cycle studio where y'all get to come meet me and we get to ride together and I'm so excited for it. And man, Nash basically skipped a nap because we went and did that and then I had to run an errand after and he fell asleep, go figure, like right before we got into our neighborhood. It always works out that way, doesn't it? and then he just fought his nap. Another little update that I wanted to show you, if you follow me on my Instagram, I painted the office wall. I painted like a little accent wall 
in my office. All the furniture is like moved right now, but yeah, I'm like really, really, really happy with the color. If you follow me, <laughs> I kind of pranked my Instagram followers and told them that I was gonna be painting it purple. So that's been fun. Um, no, it's not purple. It's like a hunter greeny color, but I love it so much. Another thing that I need to tell y'all, so we've had big changes with Nash. So we're in a big boy sleep bag now and we have started baby led weaning. Um, tonight he's gonna have hamburger meat, like ground beef patties for the first time. I'm following a little meal plan app for his baby led weaning. He's tried so many foods. If you ever wanna look and see the foods that Nash is trying, I try to film him trying them for the first time and I save it to a highlight on my Instagram. So we're gonna make his beef patties here in a second and he's gonna try broccoli for the first time. Okay, he woke up upset and he never wakes up upset, so. What's going on? Well, hello, why are you upset? You never wake up upset. This morning, now she had some whole milk yogurt for breakfast. Um, so I think he might have a little bit of a tummy ache. When I changed his diaper, I could tell a little bit maybe his tummy was upset. So I think that's why he's upset right now. But mommy make it better. <laughs> happy now okay so some more deets on this sleep sack it's again their really soft bamboo fabric this is the 2.5 tog so the tog is the thickness we keep our house at about mm, 68 degrees and Nash likes having a little bit thicker a little bit more weight right here so he sleeps really well in the 2.5 tog but they also make a 0.5 tog and a 1.0 tog just depending on the temperature of your house and what your baby prefers but nash is in the 2.5 tog it has this little zipper flap right here <laughs> what's so funny um and yeah so what i love about it is it also let me get this has this J curve zipper and it's a double zipper that goes both ways. So if you have to change in the middle of the night, it's super easy. Again, their fabric is eczema friendly. Oh, you got some snacks on ya. We just, we're literally obsessed with this sleep sack. It's so warm, it's so soft and it's really helped the transition from the sleep suit to the sleep sack go fairly easily. Hi, Babush. Hi. Come here. Come here. Come see Mama. Aww. Okay, now she's gonna hang out with Mommy in the kitchen while I get some dishes put away. I need to get some dishes put away, but I'm also gonna go ahead and get his food started. Um, we are having spaghetti tonight. So, I just wanted to give y'all a little idea. Since we're having spaghetti tonight, I will set aside just a little bit of ground beef for Nash um, to make little ground beef patties for him. That's a way that you can serve it to babies if you're doing baby led weaning um, and your baby's at least six months old or showing all the signs of readiness for solids. Um, you could do little mini beef patties. So since we're already having spaghetti, I'm gonna go ahead and set some ground beef aside for him and make him little beef patties. I also have his broccoli in the Instapot. So what I did was put a cup of water in the Instapot. I put a little garlic powder for him and then I just put broccoli for it in it. So what I wanted to say is mama was a little scared from the transition from the sleep suit to the sleep bag. I ordered a sleep bag previously from a different brand, it was not Kite Baby, and when I put Nash in the sleep bag, he was just kind of flailing all over the place. I could just tell he didn't feel cozy, he didn't feel secure, and I was just like, oh my gosh. And I just thought for sure it was gonna be this huge learning curve and he was gonna have to go weeks without sleep to try and figure, sort it out. I pretty much do everything just I just do it with Nash. I don't overthink it. Anytime we're trying something new, doing a transition, I just do it. I got the Kite Baby sleep bags in the mail and then I just tried it with a nap and it worked and he went to sleep and he stayed asleep like normal and I was in genuine shock. 
I say this with passion because I was so afraid of the transition into a sleep bag. I mean, it's, it's really different for him. He has a lot more movement, a lot more freedom, and we did it. And his sleep habits haven't changed. And I'm just so glad that he loves his Kite Baby sleep bag and prefers it over others because now we have it. And I know it's something that he's gonna use until he's at least probably, I don't know, the size is like from six months to 18 months. It's like a huge long range. So I know he's gonna be in a sleep bag the longest. I'm pretty sure that's like the last step that you do for your baby. Um, so, oh my gosh, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad it worked and I'm so glad he loves it. So I'm gonna put a link down below if you're interested in the Kite Baby Sleep Bags. Um, like I said, Nash is in the 2.5 TOG and if you're watching this video or you watch my content, you probably have a baby around Nash's age and y'all are attempting that transition or thinking about transi that transition. Gonna be doing that transition soon. Yeah, so I will go ahead and put that link down below for you. And then of course, like later in this vlog, you know, I'm gonna do the evening nighttime routine just to show y'all. We needed this update because the last time I did a nighttime routine, he was two months old and now he's six months old. Um, like I said, big things have changed. We're eating food, we're in a sleep bag. So I wanna go ahead and do, um, I wanna show y'all that routine and what it looks like with his Kai Baby sleep bag as well. Okay, so I was gonna make Nash the beef patties, but I actually had these rotini noodles, so he can eat rotini. It would be a little harder for him to have spaghetti noodles, but I have the rotini noodles. I made him a little special meat sauce with the meat that I was gonna use for his patties um, with tomato sauce, garlic, just natural wholesome flavors for him and then I have our sauce over here because we like it very flavorful very spicy so it's about 6 10 right now we're gonna go ahead and get Nash started eating we're gonna make a plate too and eat at the dinner table because now that he's eating dinner it's just like really important to me that we model sitting down and eating dinner just like he's gonna do um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and serve it up. This is his first time having spaghetti, so that'll be fun. Let's do it, then we'll finish the nighttime routine. Okay, so dinner is over. Um, Nash was kind of like indifferent with his spaghetti, which is okay, it was his first time having it. So it was kind of just experimental, but he did have like several bites go down, so that's good. We are doing bath time routine now. Look at this spaghetti face. Okay, so bath time is done. Now I do lotion, PJs, put his little creams on, whatever creams he needs. And once we're in our PJs, sometimes I'll read a book with him. Just depends on how late it is. It took a little bit longer for spaghetti tonight. So he needs to get in bed ASAP, but I do give him one more bottle before bed. Um, because really whenever you're doing like baby led weaning and trying foods with your baby, they're really not eating a lot. A lot of it, 
is for experimental purposes. So food before one is just for fun. So it's really not counted as food necessarily. So you wanna make sure that they're getting their normal bottles that they would usually get, even if you're letting them experiment with foods. So a few of my favorite Kite Baby PJs um, are just like the regular PJs without the footed. Um, they're so thin and so breathable. I get a lot of questions about what I dress Nash in at night. I love these buttery soft <laughs> Kite Baby PJs. But yeah, we keep our house kind of cool. He's in his sleep sack and it's perfect for him. Okay, so we got baby's PJs on. And we're gonna do a bottle. Usually if I do a book, then I will do Nash's bottle and then I'll renew a book to like let his bottle sink in, settle before I lay him down in his crib. <laughs> He's ready for it. Nash gets five ounce bottles every like three, three and a half hours. But lately I've been trying to stretch him to every three and a half hours and hopefully he'll start doing bigger bottles. Um, and then also the food kind of helps make sure that he's full and satisfied by the end of the day okay buddy are you ready for bed are you ready to go night night i love you i love you okay so we do put his outlet sock on sleeps with it every night whoa yeah night night Oh my goodness, you spit up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You okay? And you're hoarding the passies already. <laughs> you're so funny. You can't have enough in your hand, huh? So there's my boy with his collections of passies so that he can get them on his own in the middle of the night. And we go na night. I love you. So I turn his hatch on. <laughs> na night. <laughs> and then I go turn his lamp off. Make this for Brock. I love you, buddy. I love you, big boy. I love you. Okay, so now we get to clean up the kitchen. The most fun part, but I need to find the monitor first. Nash will kind of play in his crib until he falls asleep. Usually takes about five minutes, um, but he will try to pick up all the passies at one time. <laughs> it's really cute. He's like in this passy hoarding stage which is really cute. Like he'll pop one in his mouth and like try to hold all of them like under his chin and like, or he'll have one in each hand, one in his mouth. Um, but I love this stage because he can just put his passy in whenever he needs some soothing. So it's really nice. So now I take the monitor, go to the kitchen and do whatever mommy duties need to be done. He's so funny. So he kind of just does this. He plays with passies and yep, until he falls asleep. Whew. Another day conquered, mamas. <laughs>